Hi, I'm Sheldon from Find It Archery Supplies and welcome back to another one of our bow reviews. When we do these bow reviews, we try and come at them from a, a very non-biased perspective. Sometimes it's hard for us shop owners to, to be more lenient or more positive to certain items depending on whether or not we're a distributor or an authorised distributor. In most cases, we all sell the products and we all try and give the most non-biased opinion we possibly can of a product. The good thing about getting a review from a shop owner is generally, in most cases, we've shot the gear. We know what it feels like, we know how it works, we know the ins and outs as we have to set them up and sell them for customers. So today we're going to do a review on the Sebastian Flute Premium Riser. The Sebastian Flute Premium Riser is a riser made by Win and Win under the Sebastian Flute name. It's been around for a while now has a, had a great success in that entry level market and for a while has dominated it because there's been very little competition as far as a riser has gone against it. When you get a Sebastian Fluke Premium riser, straight out of the box, it comes with its own clicker and its rest. Sorry, not clicker, plunger and rest. Overall, it's a well made riser. It's a 25 inch riser, only available on a 25 inch option. It comes in either left or right handed. However, it doesn't really give you many color options. It only comes in as generally a blue, white, black, and a red. There are some other variants that are available upon special order. They did have an orange option, but that's now been discontinued. The premium, it's been around, it's well versed, it's well tried. Look, it does take ILF limbs, so any limb option is a good option for this riser. Most people, in most cases, use the premium limbs that go with it, however, we recommend any type of limb. In most cases, we recommend the K or K1 limbs. Simply put, for the value for money, they are the best limbs in their class. However, we'll get to them in another episode. With the Sebastian Flute Premium Riser, this has no pocket adjustment. All the adjustment for this riser is done in the cam. All in here. This is an eccentric cam. And as you can see from the, the side here, if I just turn that, you can see the indent in that cam. So to get a limb alignment in this riser, you have to adjust the cam. Now, in these sorts of risers, it can be a bit fiddly because you have to undo the back bolt, then adjust with the front, and doing them on, it, small adjustments can really affect it in a big way. Overall, it's not a bad riser. It is reasonably priced at about 170 to 180 depending on where you go. Some places sell them for 200 the grip on this actually, for its price, is pretty good. It's a really good positive to this riser. It has a nice firm grip. It's a softer grip. It's not unlike the Samic Avanti, which is its rival, which has a plastic grip and it's shiny and quite hard. This is a little bit softer. Very much that win and win feel. When you grab a win and win bow, they generally have that feel in their hand grips. Generally they're like a suede feel or something like that and this very much has that style of feel that's about it. The paint job on these, uh, it's pretty basic but it's nice and it's good quality. There's no blemishes in it, there's no scratches or marks when you get it out of the box but it's a pretty simple paint job. So, you know, would, how long would you own this riser for? Simply put, this is about a two year riser, maybe three at a push. If you were looking for a long term investment or if your child's around that sort of 11, 12 mark and is very serious about archery, this would probably do them until they get to about that intermediate level, then you're definitely going to have to look at a higher option. It's not a long, long term riser. Short term, two, three years max. That's what we would recommend. And that was exactly how we would promote it. In most cases, all the threads and variants are pretty much stock standard. It has your sight holes has your clicker hole and has your rest and plunger holes as well. My biggest negative with this riser is just some of the little quality issues that they've done with this. For example, the sight holes, if you can see, go right through the riser. They haven't actually stopped the machining of them. They've just punched straight through. So in regards to some of those little quality issues, yeah, I think it lets it down a little bit. In this price point and in this market of bows, there is a very limited choice of options open to you. You have about four bows of choice in this market. So you've got mainly the Samic Avanti, the Hoyt Horizon, the Sebastian Flute Premium, and the Cartel Phantom. 
That really is the closest group of bows in this category. Coming up soon, there's a new one coming into the market called an Infinitech. It's, it's not a bad riser as well. It's going to be a little bit heavier than some of these options. But again, in this price point and in something that you need to get you through two to three years, you really need to find something that's comfortable, something that's going to feel good in your hand, work well for you, and is easy to use. So overall, out of five, we give it about a three and a half. Not quite a four, not quite a three, three and a half. It's just those little things that knock it back down and get it into that sort of cheaper category of bows that it really does belong to. But long term wise, we recommend it for that sort of two to three year mark. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a line at our website at www.finditarcherysupplies.com.au. Again, www.finditarcherysupplies.com.au and one of our staff will get back to us. Or evidently, if you're actually on our site and you see the online button, click on that and our friendly staff will answer your question online whilst you're there. Have a great day.